you know about the lawsuit? <laughs> I know enough that it's, it's, it's stupid. Well, I've always wanted to surf Lunata, and I felt like I was finally at the right level where that was somewhere that I could handle. I was approached by two individuals. He immediately ran right up to me, shook up the can of beer, and then sprayed the beer all over my arm. I kept asking them to stop filming me, but they were saying they're filming me because I'm sexy, and I apparently turn him on. And um, it was just a very uncomfortable situation, and um, he briefly exposed himself as he was changing. And you rock up to your average surf spot in Southern California, and you paddle out. There's quite often a lot of people out there if the waves are good. There, there is that etiquette, and Lunata is something different. It has a different vibe. It feels like it runs by a different set of rules. The reason there's a lot of space is because we keep it like that. We fucking hassle people. We'll burn you every single wave. There's still fights down here. People are just fucking duke it out, fucking work your car and get fights. So many people sue each other. As it go to court? Yeah. That's yeah, but you have to go to fucking get a lawyer, defend it, that's gonna cost you 10 grand. Waves like Lenana Bay are a scarce resource, but they've crossed a line. You got two dudes that poured a beer on a girl's head, screamed violently at her, exposed themselves to her, and a third guy that watched and did nothing. The reason I decided to become part of the lawsuit is because I felt like it was the right thing to do. I didn't want anyone else to be bullied or harassed or assaulted at a public beach, it's not right. This has been going on about 40 years. It's a generational thing now. You're seeing the young kids go out there and be the enforcers, you know. It, it's not the 40 or 50 year old guys that are slashing tires, but it's them teaching their children how to do this so they don't have to anymore. The media's put out a reputation out there, and I, I don't see that personally, where people are asked not to come down and go surfing down there. They say there's a, a gang called the Bay Boys. There, there are no Bay Boys. That happens in almost every beach you go to, and that's happened here. They're pretty much grown men and little men's mindset. They don't like anyone that's not one of the Bay Boys surfing down there, but you know, it is what it is. I'm hoping that the lawsuit is able to create public access for Lunata Bay and it's able to make it a safe place for anyone to go to, for me to go surf, you know, anyone to go surf, and even anyone just to go to the beach. Like, it shouldn't be an area where people are scared to go. Then you ha you'll have a place that looks like Yosemite. I mean, when that happened a long time ago, they said, we want access for everybody to get in Yosemite. Now you have smog in there, you've got crime in there, you've got uh, all kinds of problems. I get that non-local should respect the place, I think that's fine, but I don't think that you should deny them access.